Welcome back to Coming Distractions. I'm your host, Jay. I'm here with my co-host, Micah. Hey. Okay, guys, we're back. We're here to talk about the first season of Marvel's The Defenders on Netflix. The devil of Hell's Kitchen. No. The smart-ass detective. We got a problem? Yes, you are. The righteous ex-con. Yes, you were. My bad. And the kid with a glowing fist. Yes, I want you to be. The war for New York is here. It's enemy. So get your shit together. The more connections you have, the easier it will be to break you. You look like an idiot. Sure, Scott. Okay, so this has been long awaited. We started with the first season of Daredevil, second season of Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, and now we are here. Uh, the series obviously stars Charlie Cox as Matt Murdock slash Daredevil, uh, Kristen Ritter as Jessica Jones, Mike Coulter as Luke Cage, Finn Jones as Danny Rand slash Iron Fist. Um, then you've got uh, Elodie Young coming back as Electra Nachios, um, Rachel Taylor back as Trish Walker, uh, Sigourney Weaver as the villain Alexandra, and Rosaria Dawson um, is back as well, which I cannot remember her character's name. Claire. Claire Temple. Thank you. So we're not going to give spoilers until a little bit further into the to the review uh but you will know because it will be very obvious when we get there so without any spoilers what were your thoughts on this um i think it started out really well okay i i, I really enjoyed the first half um then it kind of slowed down for me and uh i just think it's okay i'm okay. not i'm not upset that i i'm glad i watched it all of it I'm not upset by it, but it's not exactly um it's not exactly what I uh, what I really, really wanted out of it. And I think partly it's because uh, we say this about a lot of Marvel properties, and I'll say it again here, I don't like the villains. I don't like the hand. The the all this ninja shit didn't doesn't sit well with me. Like I I I really like the first season of Daredevil. I prefer it to the second season. Yeah, so do I. I agree. And the second season is when they really dug deep into all that fucking mystical hand shit. And my issue with the Defenders, especially the second half of it, is not Danny Rand per se. It's the fact that he is the physical embodiment of all this ninja shit that I just don't really care for. Yeah, I... So for me, I thought I liked so the 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 season is only what eight episodes. Yeah, yeah, it's only eight. I would agree the first half was a little bit better, but it had a lot of sort of slow building parts, right? Like there was a lot of things in motion that didn't kind of coalesce until maybe episode three. So it was the end of episode three into and, episode into, four into episode four, and I agree, right? Like, all right, I get it. You want to build up. Yeah, yeah everyone totally knows, makes sense. Everyone knows that they're all going to come together, so you want to build it up, right? right? You built it up, and now... It fell apart. It's just kind of there. Like, right. I, I was expecting, like, I was expecting something a little more than what I got. What yeah. I got was fine, but I yeah, a little more. I, I, I got to say, you know, the, the, sh the show itself, one of, its, one of its biggest issues for me, you know, everyone's like, oh, you know... Finn Jones is so terrible, blah, blah, blah. One of the big issues is I don't think it's Finn Jones. I think it's how he's written. He's, his character is written horribly. You and I talked about this offline. Like, stop having him repeat, I am the Iron Fist. He says it no less than a hundred times. <laughs> and it's like, we get it. We've been here. We tried to watch a whole season of your show where you said it a thousand times. I fin I finished that season, by the way. Yeah, no, I know you did, and and and, and got is, on you because <laughs> I couldn't. It is if you didn't finish it, you would you would say, "Wow, this is a very like weird turn for him." Like 
in the beginning of the Iron Fist series, he's very happy-go-lucky, and then things happen, and now he's... Uh, look, spoiler alert for Iron Fist, at the end, he goes to Kunlun, and he finds a bunch of his people dead. Yeah, they basically ransacked the entire place. Right. So, well, yeah, because it's the beginning of the Defenders. So, and and he is very, like, serious and stoic now and but i am the iron fist and i it's it feels and look i'm not a i'm not like a aficionado of iron fist no, right no. i i just look at what they give me and and it seems that now they want him to be like this mystical kung fu master who takes everything way too seriously that's not what that character is very different from what i've seen that character before right in in the comics he's a little bit more okay I hate to draw this parallel because um, because I, I don't like to have to bring up other things, but it is the difference between what Green Arrow is in the comics versus what Green Arrow is on Arrow the show, right? <laughs> Those guys are not the same. Like they're they're two. One is faux Batman, and the other one is like a happy go lucky, joking smartass. Like. I get that you might what you've built this world that is very dark and stuff like that, which I don't have a problem with, by the way. For for Netflix, Daredevil should be dark, like yeah. it, it should be. That guy has a lot of fucking issues of his own. Luke Cage can be a little bit lighter, and it is a little bit lighter, but it still deals with some pretty serious shit. Luke Cage is very like it, it's kind of cornballish, and that's yeah, it is, and yeah. that's kind of what black exploitation was right right like, and that's just, it's, and it's totally fine jessica jones is a little darker which if you read the alias comics like the alias max comics again in line with that but iron fist isn't that and iron fist what that character should be in this series he should be the bright spot right like one of the big issues is he does take things way too seriously and he's just like i am the iron fist my goal is to destroy the hand you're like dude calm down we get it we know we know can you do something cool also or if you're gonna take yourself seriously like be smart like even stick (laughs) stick said that the iron fist is still a thundering dumbass yeah (laughs) it's like yo that's the funniest fucking line i've ever heard but he gets later on he gets taken advantage of and i yeah like, come on, man. Like, he gets baited into doing something. The one thing that they want him to do, yeah. he gets baited into doing it. Right. And we're, we're again, we'll, we'll talk spoilers in a few minutes. But, so I, I thought, I thought, uh, I thought the Iron Fist character was generally weak. Um, but again, I don't think it's Finn Jones. I think it's the way he's written. I don't think he's written to what that character really should be. And I think that's, that's a real problem. Also, if, you know, this is a conversation you and I have had. If you're going to make Iron Fist the culmination or the main MacGuffin of this Defender story, you should have damn sure made sure that character was perfect coming out of his series and not the biggest problem. Well, I think they were filming the Defenders while Iron Fist was airing. And right? and that's the fucking problem. So, right. So they couldn't get a lot of feedback. and, and they shouldn't have rushed him. And, uh, and while I agree that Iron Fist is... Way better now than he was in his own series. Oh, this is not even a question. It's uh, he he still needs a little more work to be like that that like straight badass that I think they want to go for. And it's very Without difficult. Question. And it's very difficult because it's you know three of these people essentially have the same fucking power, right? Yeah, one's really strong. The other is really strong and bulletproof, and the other one is really strong in one hand. <laughs> right <exactly. laughs> so so you gotta really you gotta and do the more. other dude is just blind <laughs> right and the other dude and the other dude does martial arts better than the martial arts guy so yeah look <laughs> there are so many scenes in the latter half of that series where you see them fighting side by side and you're like you know this blind ninja is better than him dude <laughs> why because they got a stunt they got a, a stunt guy who's really fucking good yeah and they didn't get a guy who is nearly – look, the guy who does the stunt work, if you don't know, the guy who does the stunt work for Daredevil is the same guy who does the stunt work for the Winter Soldier in the movies. That guy's really good. Yeah. Like the fight scene between him and Captain America in the Winter Soldier is impressive as hell. Where he's flipping that fucking knife around like, yeah. like, actually, like that he's was, juggling? Actually, that, the funny thing is that was actually Sebastian Stan. He actually did that. Yeah. Yo, yeah, uh, yeah. No, he actually did that. God There's damn. a whole behind the scenes that – and he was just like, yeah, I was just walking around with a plastic knife for like 
weeks doing that, <laughs> learning it. Yeah. No, he actually does it. But but the fight scenes themselves are really good. Here's an idea. You know how you got the guy from Winter Soldier the, that plays Winter Soldier? Why don't you get the guy who plays Cap to be Finn Jones's guy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Like, you know, give Finn Jones a couple more sandwiches so he can get bigger or reduce that guy's size or something and let those two guys go at it because that fight was badass. Yeah. But it just doesn't have the same – like the fighting doesn't have that same visceral, like hard-hitting way about it. It feels like a cheap kung fu movie. In a lot of ways. Yeah. It feels like, you know, you're pantomiming some stances and then you make your iron fist glow and then you punch the air and then everybody flies back, right? Yeah. Like, it's, it, it, it feels like a cop out, especially it feels cheap. Especially if Luke Cage is an homage to black exploitation, then Iron Fist is supposed to be an homage to those Saturday afternoon, you know, Shaw Brothers movies. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I, look, I wish. I wish. I, look. <laughs> right. I would take that in a heartbeat. If that's the way they played it, that would be super smart. Yeah. Okay, so we've talked a lot about what we didn't like. What did you like about it? Um, it's It was really good seeing Jessica Jones again. I, look, I really like the first season of the first three characters. Um, yeah. Especially Jessica Jones because I thought it was very, very different. Uh, yeah. And it is it deals with something that you don't see a lot of. And it is is an allegory basically of of – the of a, an average woman's plight in this male dominated world where they are taken advantage of mm-hmm. you know on many different levels and it's and, and and it's her way to fight back at that so i really enjoyed seeing her right. character right right and well and also all of all of what you just said but also this notion of like using it through the allegory of like almost like a soldier coming back from war right like she has ptsd right. she has ptsd yeah right. so that it's a it's an interesting take um, I I really I really like the the way the first half more so than the second half of the show is shot. I mean they 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 hit you over the head with like the color themes. Yeah, yeah, no, it's super <laughs> obvious. But I like I like it though. Yeah, right? it was I, cheesy, I'm a, but I'm a I dug it for that stupid stuff, yeah. man. I was like, oh look, it's it's slightly yellow in here. There comes Luke Cage, or it's right. slightly green. Yeah. Right. Um, I like I I enjoy where the series where it ends in hopes for the next, you know, phase of, of Netflix Marvel shows. Yes. I, I think it leaves the door open for some very, very interesting things that you can do with certain characters. Um, uh, the acting is great. The, the only person that I didn't really care for acting wise is uh, Electra. Uh, Elodie uh, Young. Yeah, Elodie Young. Yeah. I didn't think she was terrible. I thought she was better uh, this time around than she was in season two of Daredevil. I thought she was worse. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I really didn't. I really, because of what her character is, I think someone gave her notes to say, okay, this is what your character is. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, oh, okay. And I think she took it a little too literally. Yeah. Okay. I can see that. (laughs) I can see that. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Let's see. Uh, I thought it was nice to see. It was nice to see Luke Cage back. I like yeah, I really yeah. enjoyed that series. They, um, they kind of glossed over that whole going to jail thing. Real quick. <laughs> real quick. They were like, and he's out. Like that's not even let's not stay there, guys. We ain't got time. We don't have three episodes to get to get him out of jail. Yeah. Um but I did like I did like the uh it, it was just kind of funny because the first time you see Luke Cage, like they play that most deaf song, yeah. uh Sunshine. And I literally just started smiling. I was like, oh, back like that just kind of felt good because like there was a couple moments where i'm like where's the fucking music in this show where's the music and you got it in that sort of last big fight sequence yeah and i was like yes thank you and it was like fucking wu-tang i was like all right that's cool like that's what i wanted um so that was pretty cool uh it was good to see jessica jones back i would agree look daredevil has just gotten better and better and better as the as that character shows up that costume looks good like it looks fucking badass. I look. I would. I would prefer a little bit more red. Like just for me, just go full red. Um, I don't mind the black. I just want the red to be more saturated. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I thought that looked really good. Um, so all right, let's quickly. Uh, I don't want to take too much time, but let's quickly talk spoilers. This is a spoiler section. Spoiler, spoiler, spoilers. Um, 
I thought that the villain uh, played by Scorny Weaver was very mediocre. Yeah. Um, their motivation was fucking mediocre. I don't. I don't know what they want. I, I know what they wanted, right? Like they wanted to the substance or whatever. They, they wanted to go. They there's this big hole, right? And then this big hole leads to a door that only the Iron Fist can open, so that they can take like these dragon bones from un, from the soil. But if you take the dragon bones, like the dragon bones are like supports for the city. So if you take them, the city will crumble. They're like, whatever, we got our dragon bones, we can live forever, right? Like right. that's the crux of the of the It's not a very good motivation. No, it really isn't. It really isn't. And and I I found it very stupid that uh while I don't while I don't necessarily hate the fact that the Iron Fist is the MacGuffin through the latter half of the series, like right. he is the reason why people do what they do. Right. Um I found him to be just very stupid. Like at first in in his series, he's annoying, but he's not he's not like a thundering dumbass, right? But in this one, he just runs head first into he, he runs head first into every situation. Yeah, and it 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 counteracts the the character that has been established in this show. Like the he is supposed to be centered, he is supposed to be in control of his emotions, and when he's not, that's why he can't summon the iron fist. Right. So why would he I, – I, I, it, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Um, uh, Electra, I, I don't understand her motivation at all. No. Well, she doesn't really have one, right? She's just basically a weapon, and then all of a sudden she's like, I'm the boss now. And I'm like, why? Right. Why? For what? For what? Like, why do you care? Right. You're already alive again. And then the whole black sky thing, right? Like – they made like this. They made it seem like the black sky was going to be this super fucking important thing at the end of Daredevil season two. No, it's just zombie Electra. Well, not only, not she, only she don't have no powers, right? Like my, she, or like, she I doesn't this move. Fucking Armageddon, right? Like, right? Like, okay, if you're gonna do, if you're gonna say, oh, she's the black sky, and that's a, like a super important thing, then like make her move faster, or like. Make her, you know, something where like it Make is her a, supernatural, man. Like, right. <laughs> it was just her with like a little bit more skill. Yeah, right. It. And maybe she could run like a little faster. Like that was it. And so it wasn't enough. I, I guess. Okay. I guess for me, you, you know, this series had so much potential. And and again, I don't think it's horrible. I don't way. think it's bad. I don't I don't think Some people it's, are like it's the worst. I'm like no, it's, it's calm it, down. It's not that, but it might seem like we're, we're harping on it, but it's because we enjoyed it and there is room for improvement. Right. And and okay, so let's talk about let's talk about some and, and I, even though we're talking spoilers, I don't want to I don't want to spoil the end because I, I want people to actually be able to watch that, right? Um what thoughts do you have on improving the series going forward? Oh man. All right. If you're going to What is your laundry list? If you're going to like have Iron Fist in a prominent role, we 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 have to we have to figure out what that character is going to be. Right. Like it, you can the character can emote, he can have a range of emotions, but it's it I I just don't want the character to contradict itself. I agree. Like I yeah. like I understand, you know, establishing rules in a world so that when those rules get broken, you're like, "Whoa, that guy's a fucking rebel, man. He's a fucking badass, <laughs> right?" That I get it. A fucking rebel. I, I get it, but I I need them to I need them to figure out what he's going to be. I I think some of the characters need a little more time together to gel. I felt that some mm. of the characters weren't really like the characters in their respective series were great, right? But when uh, Luke, the whore of Harlem, Cage, comes... Yeah, dude, this, comes, this dude. <laughs> the dude is only thinking about coffee the entire time. <laughs> and he comes and, and, and sits down with Jessica Jones at the end. I, I didn't feel it, right? Like, and I didn't, I didn't necessarily feel it in her series, right? Like, they just felt like, hey, 
you're super powered. I'm super powered. I've never fucked a super powered person before. Like, let's <laughs> let's strong fuck each other and see what's going and see what we could do, right? I mean, that's basically what. Right, happened. that's basically what it was, right? I mean, he fucked Rosaria Dawson through a table in the first episode of this series. <laughs> right. I was like, yo, her back is all kinds of broken. <laughs> so, so when they came back, you know, I don't know if they're gonna try and force that well not force but like get them together like they are in the comics but it i, I wasn't feeling it yeah you know? yeah no i i agree because there should have been there's really only one sort of physical react or, or interaction between them in the entire series at the very end when he's when he saves her at one point yeah and it's like oh they make that joke um but i feel like there should have been a little bit more of some glances or yeah. you know something where you could say okay that you could point to that even if it doesn't happen in the second season you could see in the third or fourth season he breaks up with Claire for some reason and yeah. then they like, like he's staring at Jessica just a little too hard while Claire is there yeah yeah like you need things like that to go aha like right. this is going to happen down the road and you you need those moments and now maybe they're writing it in a way so that you don't see it coming but like we see it coming. Like, okay. Right. Like, we see, yeah, exactly. Like, come on. And if you write it where you don't see it coming, it'll look like it came out of nowhere. Which it doesn't a la make sense. Avengers 2 with Hulk and Black Widow. Right. You're like, wait, what? Okay, there we go. <laughs> like, okay, that's fine, I guess. But yeah, it was it was not something that was even remotely hinted at. You know what I did like? One relationship that I did like that I thought I wasn't? Uh, Luke Cage and Iron Fist. It was super good. It was, it was good, good, man. Like, those two, those two, when, when Danny's not being a whiny little bitch... Like he's like they have a good rapport with one another because but that's what I'm saying. I don't think it's Finn Jones. I think it's how he's written. Yeah, like that. Yeah. I think he yeah. can deliver lines. This when they're sitting next to each other, like at the Chinese restaurant. That shit was great. Yeah, that shit was great. Like and and later on when when they're sitting down and Stick is in the other room. Yeah, like I'm like yo, I can see this happening. Right, like you I could can see, see these two heroes for hire. Heroes Absolutely. for hire. And I would love, 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 love. If they do, if Danny Rand does a guest spot in Luke Cage season two and vice versa, yeah. and then eventually like their season three, it's just like they can share a season three together. That makes total sense. I, I would, I would love it because those two do have a very good rapport with one another. Yeah. I like, I, I okay. There's one part I have to, again, we're in spoilers. So I have to talk about this. I have never cheered so loud to watch a person get their arm cut. Off. <laughs> I never have. I was like, yes! Oh, this is what I've been missing from The Walking Dead. This is all I wanted to see. It's all I wanted to see. Yes. Finally. I was like, Missy's got to lose that arm, man. That was fucking cool. Yeah, I was like, man. so they're going to do it. They're going to fucking do it. They're going to do it, man. That's super cool. They're going to do it. And I like her. I like... I, I like... Um, I I like the actress uh, Simone, Simone Messick. Yeah, something like that. Um, I like her. She always has this look on her face, though. She's always smirking, like you believe this shit. <laughs> like <laughs> always, no matter what the fuck is going. on. The most serious thing. She's just like, really, really, this is what we're doing. Super powered guy, like the guy with the glowing fist. We're doing this, right? Okay, right. Oh, okay, guys. Um, so I I like that about it. Um, I am very excited to see if in season two of Luke Cage. That's where she gets the fucking arm. Yeah. And I want to see, like, there. I think they were laying the seeds at the end, but I want to see her and Colleen Wynn get together and, you know, not get together, get together. Uh, and I not, mean, not in that, I mean, I'm not I against. wouldn't mind. <laughs> like, I'm not against. Them. But, you know, because they're a team. Yeah. Well, and the funny thing is, uh, what's the name is on that team, too, uh, from Thor? Um, uh, uh, God, I can't remember her name. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Ah, damn it! I can't remember either. But I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Look, um, the show is the show is pretty good. It's not uh, great. It's a quick watch, and and I it's it's a tight like eight episodes. Like, do you, uh, before you before you end, do you think they should go to eight or ten episodes for these series? Going I wouldn't forward? mind. I wouldn't mind ten. That's it. I think Thir ten is the number. Thirteen is too much. 13 is way, I think it's way too much. 13 is way too much. Um, I wouldn't be upset. Eight was fine. It's I, a little tight. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind 10 to try and flesh out, um, Alexandra. The, it could have benefited from 10 to flesh out Alexandra a little more. Mm -hmm. Cause she just kind of, she just kind of was there and didn't really. 
She didn't get a chance to do much. Right. And especially because she is, you know, we've met the other members of the hand. Right. But we've never met her. So, and she's supposed to be the leader, right? Like, right. Uh, it just didn't, it didn't mesh well. I did um, enjoy the fact that Madame Gao had powers. Yo, more Madame Gao. Yeah. She that. was a fucking badass, dude. <laughs> she fucking moved that dumpster. I was like, oh shit, son. So, like, yo, this old lady ain't fucking around. She that was great. a fucking Yoda. She was like, oh, let me put this fucking stick away. <laughs> and just bam. Like, oh, all right. Surprise, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. I'm 108 years old. Um, yeah, look, man. Um, it's it's fun. If I had to rate it out of five, I'd probably say a three and a half. That's it. Yeah. So check out Defenders. Uh, hopefully we didn't spoil too much for you. We tried not to. Um, but it is a good time. If you've watched the other series, I think it's worth watching. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So If you've suffered through Iron Fist. Yeah. Well, then... <laughs> at least get, get a little bit of a payoff here at the end. <laughs> yeah. um, but I do look forward to seeing what they do next. Uh, season three of Daredevil, Jessica Jones season two, Luke Cage season two, and Iron Fist season two. Hopefully the hand is and Punisher, by the way. done and gone and yes. we don't have to worry about them anymore. Daredevil, Daredevil can get back to fighting fucking thugs and gangsters and shit. Yeah. No, absolutely. He needs it. You know what he needs? He needs to get back to fighting the Kingpin. Yeah. Because that's why that season was so good. Because he had a great villain. Yep. He had a great villain. Um. I don't know who Danny Rand is going to fight in his season two. Probably like corporate espionage. <laughs> I don't um, know. Steel Serpent was in the first season. Oh, yeah. Okay. There you so, go. And, and they set that up. So Steel Serpent and, spoiler alert, Joy Meacham. Oh, okay. So, yeah. they, you know, those two were talking and he was like, yo, you got to you gotta help me kill Danny Rand so I can get the Iron Fist because, you know, fuck that guy. And he's <laughs> like, yeah, your, your family's dead because of him. So... <laughs> Sorry. God damn it. Um, and then I don't know who Luke Cage will fight. Probably some other snake named person. Probably. Diamondback. Fucking Arizona Diamondbacks. <laughs> Just let him fight the entire Arizona Diamondbacks. <laughs> you know, that's fine. <laughs> I would allow that. <laughs> Baseball sucks. Um, so, yeah, look forward to that. Jessica Jones, I don't know. Uh, what's name has been seen on the set? Um, yeah. David uh, Tennant. Yeah, David Tennant. But I don't know if that's a flashback. It probably, probably is. Probably, because he died, right? Yeah, she fucking snapped his neck. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Done. Um, yeah, so look forward to all of that. I would. I am looking forward to Punisher. That's also coming up yeah. uh, Thanksgiving time this year. Um, but I have to say, I want to see the team expand. That's one of my big things. I want to see Shang-Chi in this, in this series. Hmm. He should absolutely, absolutely be the fucking Bruce Lee of this series, and he should be the guy who pushes Danny further. That's who it, it should be. Yeah. That would be the way. Look, also, one last criticism. Uh, the one fist glowing, it's not enough. It's not enough. It's a che- It looks too cheap. This dude's fucking arms, his, his fist and his, up to his forearm should be on fire when that dude gets ready. That's what it should be. And he should look like a goddamn badass. If, if Bruce Leroy's glow looks better in a fight than Danny Rand, there's a problem. There's a problem. So three and a half out of five. Check out the Defenders. We will see you guys next time.